السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله ما شاء الله يتي جناب حافظ قاري عثمان ذو النورين صاحب الله باك حافظ صاحب کی آواز میں خوب خوب برکت نصیب فرمائے اور ان شاء اللہ آئندہ بھی اللہ باق ہمیں ان سے سننے کا موقع عنایت فرمائے Respect to the elders, brothers, friends, you are enjoying the beautiful nasheed. Though you might not have understood Urdu, but you might have got the gist of it, that he was talking about our beloved Prophet wasallam. how great and how azim. Azim means grave, great, how great, magnanimous his personality is. We wish we could go to Medina Sharif and visit the blessed Rawdah of our beloved Prophet. May Allah accept the dua and take us all there very quickly, inshallah. Our Hazrat Olana Bilal Sahib is here and I know he's unwell, but he's, well, mashallah, still made an effort to get here. I won't sit here for long because we don't have much time and Hazrat has to come here. But it's Hazrat's in, insistence that I sit here and say a few words. So I'll just say, our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has many rights over us. Qazi Iyaz Maliki Rahmatullahi, a great author of a book called Ash-Shifa Bi-Tahrifi Hukuq Al-Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he has written many rights of beloved Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now this book is really nice, very nice. It's one of the wonderful books you might read on Surah. It's been translated in English by our respected sister Aisha Abdul Haq Buli, who's a new Muslim, he's a convert, she's a convert, and her husband, Sheikh Abdul Haq Buli, is also a convert. They embraced Islam in the 1970s. 70s. They're very elderly people. I visited them. They used to live in Norwich. Now they've moved to Bradford. Very nice people. She translated a lot of books from Arabic to English. She's translated Shifa as well. Beautiful translation. So he writes, you know, talks about the Prophet and his greatness and his love and muhabbat and durood and whatever. He writes among many hukuk, like I summarize them into six hukuk, six che hukuk, six rights. Number one, believe in the Prophet <laughs> Do we all believe in him? That he is Rasul of Allah, right? Allah said, فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَالنُّورِ الَّذِي أَنزَلْنَا Believe in Allah. And the Rasul and the Nur which Allah has revealed. Allah said in another place, Woman lam yu'min billahi wa rasulihi fa inna a'tadna lil kafirin sa'ira. Whoever doesn't believe in Allah and in his Rasul, then for such, be- these, th- such disbelievers, we have prepared the f- punishment of blazing fire. May Allah protect us. So we have to believe in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Rasul of Allah. He's not a normal human being like you and me. He's a special human being. He's a unique person. He is a Rasul and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, after believing in him, love him. We should love our Prophet Every Muslim, young, old, male, female, boy, girl, we should all love our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should take him as our role model. More than the love of your football stars, superstars. Sheikh Yunus Sab was mentioning best footballer, Messi or Ronaldo or Mo Salah or whatever. Your love should be more for your Rasul. You should try and copy him, be like him, learn his sunnah, follow his lifestyle, adapt his lifestyle, behave like him, look like him. Have your hairstyle like his hairstyle. Wear your clothing like his clothing. And there should be no hypocrisy in clothing. Many girls sometimes when coming to madrasa, they wear very nice burqa and you know, hijab and everything. But then in free time on weekends, um, silly clothing, all the body is revealed, the hair are open, exposed. This is nifaq, hypocrisy. You should wear proper clothing all the time. Cover your bodies. Boys as well. You should wear your sunnah clothing at all times. Okay, your school is majburi. You have no choice. You wear your three-piece suit, whatever. But when there's no zarura, no necessity, you should have love for your jubba, your topi, your pagri, your imama. So love your Prophet That's the second haq. Third haq is follow him. Follow him 
in his sunnahs. Learn his sunnahs and follow those sunnahs. Fourth is obey him. When he tells you to do something, listen to him. If he says this is halal, halal. This is haram, haram. Jais, jais. Najais, najais. So if he tells you to do something in Hadith Sharif, then you have to do what he tells you. You know, kids today, uh, who, who is this? Why is Islam? Why is he saying like this? No, I'll do what I want. That's not the attitude. Our attitude should be, if he says something, we must do it. We must do what our Prophet Sallallahu tells us to do. Create within us this ita'at and uh, uh, obedience that we have to obey our Prophet Sallallahu This is fourth half. You know, we have many things going around. Allah protect us like this gay relationship and toba toba astaghfirullah, all, uh, you know, things which are against the teachings of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, how should we behave? We live in an environment where they say these things are okay. Okay, they're okay for you. We have no discrimination, nothing against you. But for us, it's haram, so we'll keep it haram. We won't make halal anything which our Prophet Sallallahu has said as halal, haram. What he said haram is haram. You can do whatever you want. But our belief, our aqidah, our understanding as Muslims is it's haram. We will keep it haram. We won't make it halal for us. So don't fall for these types of things. You know, just like pork is haram, alcohol, wine, is beer is haram. So similarly, this gay relationship is also haram. Now, we don't discriminate against those who eat pork or those who drink wine, alcohol. We will not discriminate against these people either. But we will still say it's haram is haram. This is obedience to your soul, sallallahu alayhi wa And then number five, haq of his is send durood and salawat upon him. Lots of durood, lots of durood. Our husband comes here every Friday night and he teaches us. We have to read lots of durood sharif. And mashallah, people do read lots of the Rush Sharif. Mulana Safwan is making a special app for our madrasa students wherein they can read their Durood and then upload how much they read on Fridays or throughout the week. And inshallah, it'll be totaled. So it'll be better for you. Read lots of the Rush Sharif if you can. And finally, number six, six haqi, you know, study your beloved Prophet, Sallallahu study his seerah, learn about him, study his sharia, and then be a good alim and propagate his deen. Teach others, learn and propagate and spread whatever you learn from your Prophet So these are the six hukuk of Nabi Karim I'll go over them once more. What was the first one? Believe in him. Second one, love him. Third one, follow his sunnah. Fourth one, obey him, show your obedience to him. Fifth one, read lots of Durush Sharif on him. And sixth one, study him and study his deen and then spread it among others as well. May Allah give us tawfiq. Sorry, just for taking your time. May Allah reward you for your patience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.